I'm Ty with Spray Guide, and I'm going to talk to you about a few important pointers when you're using the Spray Guide. To get ready to use the Spray Guide, attach the angle head to the gun or spray extension. I like to use a three foot spray pole for spraying seven to eight foot ceilings instead of a shorter tip extension because you'll have much better control and the wheel will actually roll smoother since you're controlling it with two hands. Slide the arm and wheel attachment onto the angle head and tighten the wing nut. Now adjust the spray so it just fogs the edge of the wheel and then give it a try. Now for some important pointers. First let's talk about the tip. The spray guide only works with the correct tip sizes which are wide fan tips only like a 411, 513 and this is why. First the spray pattern is adjusted to hit the tip of the wheel where it touches the wall and a wide pattern like a 411 or 513 has a narrower fan which will hit the wall only where it touches the wall. Whereas a narrow fan like a 211 or 313 has more of an oval pattern and will hit too wide of an area at the edge of the wheel. Plus the paint will build up on the wheel faster. Second, a narrow fan when adjusted to fog the edge of the wheel will be shooting straight on the wall with approximately 2,500 pounds of pressure and any overspray will blow both up and down. Whereas a wide fan tip when adjusted to fog the edge of the wheel actually creates an angle that will blow the overspray away from the wheel and the surface that you're trying to keep clean. Also beware that when you're cutting in with a spray guide or doing any spraying you are blowing a small cloud of overspray in front of your spray pattern. So when I'm cutting in a ceiling, for instance, I'll stop three feet or so before I get to the corner, and then I'll start at the corner and work away from it. This will keep the cloud from bouncing out of the corner and up onto the ceiling. Another important thing to remember is the spray is hitting the wheel straight across from the tip. So the wheel always needs to be touching the wall straight across from the tip, not at an angle. That's why it can be difficult to spray up a corner. Once you get up so high, the tip will be angling up towards the ceiling. Plus you'll be pushing the overspray up onto the ceiling. When I spray a corner, I'll spray up like shoulder height and then get on a ladder and spray from the ceiling down. Another point is you want to have the wheel as close to a 45 degree angle to the wall as possible so that the overspray is blowing down and not blowing up toward the ceiling. And finally, when you're done cutting in with the spray guide, you can quickly slide the arm and the wheel off of the angle head and throw it in a bucket of water. I hope this will help you have a lot of success with spray guide. May your lines be straighter and your profits be greater.